Hello friends, so is your speedometer acting up or maybe your car is shifting gears in a weird way? If your scanner shows code P0502, it means there's an issue with the vehicle speed sensor circuit. This can actually cause incorrect speed readings, transmission shifting problems, and even ABS malfunctions. In this video, I'll explain what P0502 means, its symptoms, sensor locations, and how to fix it. Let's get started. So what is P0502? The P0502 code stands for Vehicle Speed Sensor Low Input. So, basically this means the vehicle speed sensor isn't sending the correct speed signal to the engine control module or ECM, and honestly that can mess with your speedometer readings and even how your automatic transmission performs. If you leave this issue unfixed, it can cause gear shifting issues, erratic speed readings and yeah, even traction control problems. Here are some common symptoms of P0502. First, you might notice the check engine light is on. Next, your speedometer could stop working or show inaccurate speeds. You could also experience transmission shifting problems like jerking, delayed shifts or even getting stuck in one gear. Sometimes the ABS or traction control light might come on, and if your cruise control isn't working properly, that could be another sign. So if you notice any of these signs, don't just ignore them. So, to diagnose a P0502 code, you'll need to know where to find a few key components. Let's talk about where these sensors and modules are actually located. First up, the Vehicle Speed Sensor, or VSS. It's usually mounted right on the transmission housing, pretty close to the output shaft. Next we have the Engine Control Module, or ECM. You'll typically find this either under the hood or sometimes tucked behind the dashboard. So, let's talk about the Transmission Control Module, or TCM, if your vehicle is equipped with one. The TCM is usually located near or even inside the transmission, depending on your specific vehicle. Now about the wheel speed sensors, which are especially important for ABS-related issues. Each wheel actually has its own sensor, and you'll find it right near the brake rotor. Just a quick tip here, a faulty vehicle speed sensor, or VSS, can lead to erratic speed readings and even transmission issues, especially if you drive an automatic car. Alright, let's talk about some of the most common reasons you might see that P0502 code pop up. First up, a faulty vehicle speed sensor, or VSS. Honestly, this is the most common culprit. When the sensor goes bad, it sends the wrong speed data to your car's ECM. Next, you've got damaged or corroded wiring. If there's a loose, frayed, or corroded connection, you can end up with a loss of signal. Another thing to check is the tone ring. If that magnetic ring on your transmission or wheel gets dirty or damaged, the sensor might not be able to read your speed correctly. Transmission problems can also come into play. If the output shaft or something inside the transmission is faulty, it can mess with the VSS function. And finally, sometimes the issue is with the ECM, or the transmission control module itself. A software glitch there can trigger that P0502 code too. So, how do you actually fix a P0502 code? Well, let's walk through the steps you can take to get things sorted out. Alright, let's walk through the steps to address that P0502 code. First, use an OBD2 scanner to confirm the P0502 code. Next, inspect the vehicle speed sensor, or VSS. Take it out and check for any dirt, damage, or signs of wear. After that, check the wiring and connectors, look for anything loose, corroded, or frayed near the VSS. Then clean or replace the tone ring. If that magnetic ring is dirty or damaged, just clean it up or swap it out. If you're still having shifting issues, test the transmission system by checking for low transmission fluid or possible internal damage. And finally, reset the code and take the car for a test drive to see if the issue comes back. So, the P0502 code is usually caused by a faulty vehicle speed sensor damaged wiring or sometimes transmission issues. Fixing it will bring back accurate speed readings, improve your shifting performance, and honestly just make driving a lot smoother. If you found this helpful and want more car troubleshooting guides, check out these videos next. P0256 for injection pump fuel metering control, A intermittent, and P0257 for injection pump fuel metering control, A high. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to IG Garage for more car repair tips. Thanks for tuning in.